Stop holding your fractalin. I'm going to explain why in a second, but before we get started, if you have any unanswered questions by the end of this video, or if maybe you just don't quite understand what I'm getting at, then feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Or if you happen to catch me in one of my live streams here on this channel on YouTube, you can also ask me in my live chats there, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions on either of these places. To start things off in this video, just so that all these tips are going to be able to make sense for everyone, we're going to start off by explaining how the Empyrean Restoration works and what to do. The goal of this Empyrean Restoration is to build, or I guess rebuild, a beacon out of the Tower Obelisk in the tower, and you're going to use your Polarized Fractal to contribute to the building of this beacon. There is a contribution minimum of 100 Polarized Fractal per contribution, so that's the minimum increment you can contribute. And every time you contribute, you can get a plus 25% flat progression across all time lost weapon bounties in your inventory. So it's also an excellent opportunity to go and farm for the best rolls of those weapons that you want. During this event, there is a 5,000 Fractalin contribution goal per player that allows you to earn an emblem and a triumph that goes towards your seasonal seal. In addition, there is a community set of goals with seven stages, of which we only know the first three. I'm going to have them on the screen here, but I'm assuming as we've completed the first three, they're going to start making the stage four through seven known as well, and that's going to have a reward for each individual stage, as well as one for the max stage, which is going to be a shader. So I'm assuming that's going to be on top of the individual stage seven goal reward as well. So now that we've explained that, let's get to the good stuff. So far, the information in this video has come from the January 30th This Week at Bungie blog post. This is their weekly news post that they use to tell us what's going to happen the next week in the game. In that same Bungie blog post, they mentioned that the Tower Obelisk will give you free Fractalin based on your resonance power every week at reset until the end of the season. Knowing this, we now have two options that are in front of us to prepare for this event. Either you can save up to 5,000 Fractalin, get ready for the event, and then just get it all done in day one, but then be left with either zero or much less Fractalin, or you can invest that Fractalin into the other obelisk around the system and then get that back plus more through the Tower Obelisk every single week because your resonance power is going to be much higher. Of these two options, I feel like the best of the two is going to be to invest your Fractalin across the system and get that back plus dividends throughout the rest of the season. If you get enough Fractalin per week that you never have to worry about farming it ever again, then you have the perfect opportunity to focus on other parts of the game or even get the jump on next season. If you need to farm materials like enhancement cores, enhancement prisms, or even ascendant shards, I have a guide right here on the screen that can teach you the fastest, most efficient way to do that. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next one.